So in my last video, I talked about um, low and <clears throat> high pressure systems. And I mentioned at the end of the video that a low pressure system will um, rotate counterclockwise and a high pressure system will rotate in a clockwise fashion. And again, this is in the, in the northern hemisphere, northern hemisphere. All right. Um, and I wanted to uh, take some time to explain that. So um, the first one, high pressure system is going to be a little bit easier to visualize. So um, I'll do it over here. Um, so we learned that in a high pressure system, the air mass is, is pushing down. The air is pushing down in a high pressure system. And here's my symbol. All right. And in the Coriolis effect in the northern hemisphere, uh, remember that um, the effect will make winds turn toward the right. So when the air hits the bottom and you know strikes the earth, you can imagine it deflecting and pushing outward. And when it pushes outward, it's going to rotate and turn toward the right. And so it's going to turn toward the right. And so you can see, if you follow this path, that that rotation is in a clockwise direction clockwise and so uh, for a low pressure system obviously it would be different but it's much harder to draw and harder to harder to uh, visualize here so what we have is the warm air rising so we have the warm air rising and um, surrounding air is going to come in and take that place so um, and again it'll be rotating toward the right so what you end up with is something that looks well let's fix that let me go back um, something that looks like this it's going to rotate to the right and like like so and from behind like that so if you can visualize visualize it that way and we have this low pressure system and the air coming in crashing into this low pressure system we have a, an opposite rotation and it's going to follow a counter counterclockwise let's write it over here a counter clockwise rotation all right, because the air is going to be turning toward the right, but coming from the outside in, you end up with a counterclockwise rotation. In a high pressure system, it's going to be um, a clockwise rotation because it's coming from the inside, going out. And you know, I hope I hope that's pretty understandable. Um, watch it a few times, um, and and hopefully it'll become clear to you.